Okay, following through on our top story right now, the major security breach that took place yesterday afternoon in the parliament. We're learning now that the Lok Sabha Secretariat has suspended eight personnel for yesterday's security lapse incident. Remember, there are three different levels of security through which people need to pass before they're able to enter as visitors inside the parliament building. We're going to bring you more details about this and what took place in just a second. My colleague Pallavi is with us right now. Pallavi, can you just confirm for us, because earlier in the show you were telling us that uh, some personnel had been suspended. When we speak of this, this, this number eight, does that include the people you were telling us about earlier? And at what level are these people at? So there are eight of them, that's what we are being told by the Parliament Secretariat sources to yeah, that eight of them has been suspended for dereliction of duty and of course a departmental inquiry has also now been issued against them. Uh, essentially these are the same people who were right there at the security frisking points and how is it that for example that they could take the colour canister and hide it inside the shoes? Why is it that a proper frisking of them was not really done? That's really going to be the point of inquiry. Was there a loophole there? Uh, uh, were they not actually alert? So these are the points on which all those ten, eight, uh, all of those eight security personnel who are on duty, where you want to show your pass to go in inside the parliament, they are the ones who actually check you, frisk you, which happens right from the point of where you take the pass from the reception till the galleries part, where you are checked along the way, where you are also given directions on where to sit, how to sit, how to behave, basically the do's and don'ts protocols. So it's eight of these people what part. Parliament Secretariat are telling us have been suspended and a departmental inquiry has also been ordered against them. Can you tell our audiences, Pallavi, because you're saying these eight people are people who were directly involved in the checking. Anyone at a higher level who were at all seeing action take place against over the last few days or is that why the inquiry is taking place, as you just said? Well, I think that's going to be coming more step by step, Toya, because it's immediately the first point where that uh, that mistake may have been made uh, in terms of not proper fisking is uh, where you take action against. See, uh, as, as we have been talking about since yesterday, the procedure is very simple. You know, once you enter that particular building where, for example, your passes are being made, the first point where you enter, your bags are scanned. And after that, there's a physical fisking which takes place uh, where, you know, you are checked for mobile phones or anything on your Body. Now, in this case, of course, as we all have reported, the color canister was found in the shoes of the accused. And was there a mistake there? Why didn't you do a proper checking? Why wasn't the scanner used? all the way through so where was that uh, the where was that mistake made uh, 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 you know so those are the points which are being checked after that you go to a reception table that's where you collect your pass and then after that you yet go to another section because it has a biometric code that pass is scanned and then you step out but you're still checked along the way it's a little uh, you know i would say around uh, more than 500 meters walk which you take in from the reception building till the visitors gallery so it's a long walk and therefore you know on the way they are watch and watch staff, they are security personnel who keep a very close or hawkish eye on you. And then you're checked once again when you're about to enter the visitor's gallery. Was there a goof up there? Was someone not paying attention? All of these points are being made, accumulated, and this is going to be a part of the departmental inquiry. If need be, that's what parliamentarians, secretariats are telling us, if need be, more heads could roll because they're going to start checking why was, for example, the CCTV cameras, they are also scanned. All of that has now become a part of procedure. Okay. Pallavi, if you could stay with us, our colleague Arunuma is also with us. Arunuma, can you bring us more input on this particular breaking that eight people have been suspended? Can you also tell us, because yesterday we were talking at multiple points about the Delhi police. They also, along with various other units, look over security. Have we seen suspensions taking place there at all in the last day? No, CRPF and Delhi Police is responsible for perimeter security. They are responsible for securing the building behind me and the building on my right, which basically means the new building and the old building. This was because once the parliament attack happened in 2001, on the other side, I'll just try and move and show, uh, you know, this white uh, curtain has covered that main gate. On the other side of it is the is the gate from the Vijayachok side. That gate was breached back in 2001 and that's why CRPF and Delhi Police has been brought in to ensure that the perimeter is secured. So anybody who wants to ram a vehicle, 
that is to be stopped by delhi police and crpf inside is the parliamentary security staff who is responsible they are responsible for carrying out frisking door frame metal detector pat downs and at the visitor gallery just before you enter to frisk you properly and see what is it that you are carrying on person if you are carrying any mobile or any foreign object which is not allowed so these eight people who have been suspended for dereliction of duty are people who are who are now being held accountable for failing to detect that canister or that spray in the shoe of these two who entered the lok sabha chamber Anuma could we also since this is the first time we're talking to you today could you also bring our audiences an update on the entire investigation as it's proceeding any details for example on where Lalit Jha might be could you bring us more details on the other six please Right so let me begin by telling you about the role of each one of those uh, right behind me here the yellow tape has barricaded this area where the canisters at the transport bhavan side outside of parliament were set off the smoke bombs here this is where neelam and amol uh, were uh, picked up from uh, they they evidently you know started off that that bomb and then uh, the, the smoke bomb i mean and then amol uh, lalit jha was standing where i am standing at the moment he was filming it streaming it live on instagram and he disappeared as soon as police came and took away neelam and a mole where lalit went from there on is not known he's still missing in action and about 10 minutes after the incident inside happened uh, reports came in from inside lok sabha also that two people have jumped in the visitor gallery it was only later that investigation showed that the two incidents were connected they were all part of a group two other people vishal and vrinda who were in gurgaon they were picked up late in the evening after questioning through up that this entire group was uh, being harbored by vishal and vrinda in their gurgaon residence uh, three days before this incident they had all come to delhi from various places from karnataka mysuru maharashtra haryana and it was at the gurgaon residence where the planning etc happened so that's why those two have been arrested now the in the investigation right now by the police is through the prism of what they are calling urban naxalism what is urban next naxalism they are saying that the reason uapa section 16 and 18 has been imposed is because this does not look like a publicity stunt alone or unemployed youth frustrated youth carrying out an innocuous act this This looks premeditated. A proper recce was carried out in the last session, where uh, you know one of the accused went back and said that they don't check the shoes, so we can smuggle in uh, the smoke bombs or the spray in the shoe. That kind of planning went into it. Who was behind the planning? Why was Neelam recruited for this cause? Neelam's recruitment was also well thought out, well planned. She was her her social media profile was scanned. Somebody was sent to her village to convince her to join this cause. So who was really the mastermind? Manoranjan. is being seen as the mastermind at this moment whether somebody was behind him some group was influencing him those questions are being asked as joint interrogation proceeds aruma thank you for painting that picture for us giving us all the details our colleague pallavi also remains with us aruma and pallavi both bring us all of the details